Hello guys, what is up? Hello, you and today I'm going to be making a post commentary, so this isn't going to be synced up with gameplay or anything. I mean, obviously there'll be gameplay over it. Uh, I have no idea if it's going to fit the actual time or if it's just going to like go for part of it and then cut off. That's, you know, obviously some of the bad things with post commentary. I'm not a fucking time wizard, so I can't align it just perfectly. Hopefully I get somewhere close. I don't know. I haven't even gotten any gameplay <laughs> before I made this, so probably be something crappy. Uh, well, not not crappy, but, like, I, I'm not going to go all try-hard and shit and wait and play all day so I can get one good gameplay. It's just going to be over something. You know, so you guys can watch and be like, wow, this guy sucks. Or <laughs> something, I don't know, Blacklight, World of War, maybe, even. So if it's zombies, you guys probably won't be like that. But you'd be like, wow, this guy has taken too long to get to a high round. Or, you know, something like that. But anyway, my subject today is, um... Purchasing without thinking, or uh, more specifically, uh, the title of this is going to be regarding Nintendo and um, them running on nostalgia. Now, you guys might be like, what? Running on nostalgia? Well, if you would like to look at what all Nintendo pushes out, just about all they push out, their major titles, all their huge sales, are old things. Old characters, old things that they've established that they're known for. Now, I'm not saying that that's bad but uh, it definitely can be bad I'm not I'm not saying there's anything wrong with making sequels or anything like that but you know whenever you're whoring it out and Nintendo definitely is good at that like let's look at um um what what's the newest 3d Mario it's on the DS I'm trying to remember what it's called but uh, they're if you look at all the newer ones, New Super Mario Brothers, Wii, the two new ones they have for the 3DS, they all, they're all like rehashes. They look like exactly the same. And people just blindly buy them because they're Nintendo. And you know, they're like, oh, well, I used to love Mario, so, you know, here's some fucking Mario, I'm gonna buy it. And it's like, no, don't do that, because then they're just gonna keep putting out shit. Okay, and now I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to this, but now I'm gonna link it to iPhone. Okay, I'm I was seeing a bunch of people talking about the iPhone 5 because that's you know something that's new. You can go ahead and start buying those now. I think I have an iPhone 4S, but I'm probably not gonna get an iPhone 5, and I might not even get an iPhone 5S, 5G, whatever the hell they make. Uh, I'm I don't hate uh, iPhones or anything like that, but. Fucking, oh my god, who was it? It was somebody at Machinima, he's like, yeah, I'm a huge Apple uh, fanboy, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy the biggest one without looking at any other tech specs or anything like that. Which color should I get? And I'm like, why? Why would you? That's so stupid. If, you, if you're just blindly buying things, companies are just going to jack up the price to whatever they want, put in shit for whatever, you know, they're just going to take hardly any effort and charge you a dick load because they know you'll buy it and that's what Apple does that's what they've been doing for I don't know how long they're like well you know people like Apple because I don't know why why do people like Apple I don't like Apple you can buy a PC for a lot cheaper and I can I can make it look a lot nicer I think than an Apple and make it look exactly like Apple if I wanted to where and it has more support for it. See, uh, okay. The the point of this isn't to rant on Apple. I don't understand why people like Apple. Um, obviously, I'm gonna go ahead and you know try and think that they're fanboys, because uh, you know most people, if you compare them, you know cheaper stuff, more compatibility. People are like, well, artists like you. No, you know how many more music making programs, photo editing programs, video editing programs they have for PC? A lot, a lot more because people aren't stupid and buy Mac because it's, it's harder to make stuff for too why why would you want that but anyway back to Nintendo people they just run on nostalgia they just push out the same thing like I was even talking to it with my friend and he was in total agreement with it and then I, he was like yeah um, I totally agree with you and then he started talking about yeah I don't really like any of them anymore except for Zelda I'd buy a Zelda eats cake game and I'm like, oh my god why 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 would you ever do that? And I'd like to link this back to um, online passes. They used to, I think they're still pretty big. I don't know, I buy, um, I'm a PC gamer now, so I buy all my games off of Steam. I don't have to buy an online pass or anything like that. But before, I'll talk from um, experience and memory and shit like that, because uh, I, I don't know how the online pass. I'm pretty sure EA still pushes the shit out online pass. Sony probably does too. You know, they're pretty greedy, but uh, <laughs> they, they, 
they push it out a lot. Like with, let's see, Battlefield 3 and Resistance 3, those were some big titles, and they're just like, oh, yeah, online pass. See, people buy this, and they don't give a shit. And I don't buy it, because they do give a shit. And I don't want them to start putting in a bunch of dumb shit to just raise the price up. Like an online pass, like, well, we gotta pay for servers and shit. And it's like, dude, everyone does that with the money they make from the game. You don't have to push extra stuff out. You don't have to put out day one DLC, some bullshit like that. See, now I'm, I'm spewing off of different stuff. The main focus of this was to, um, don't, don't blindly comply with something or just be like, well, this one was good, so I'll just, you know, trust that this company knows what they're doing. No, don't do that. They're taking advantage of you. Don't, okay, if you have Call of Duty and you like Call of Duty and they don't have an online pass and you like Battlefield and they have an online pass, buy Call of Duty Battlefield, you know, EA's gonna be like, oh fuck, people don't like that we're trying to get more money out of them. They're gonna take it away. Okay, that's what companies do. If they see something isn't working, they're gonna revert back so they can make money. If you aren't making them money, they obviously see a problem with that, and they're gonna start changing what they've been doing. Now, if, I don't know, we got more people to do it, I'm sure they would, but obviously not a lot of people, I guess, just care at all. They're just like, oh, you know, whatever, it's just... It's just games, man. I don't care if, you know, the price raises up a dick load or anything like that. It's it's just games. It's just... No. It, it's not just... Why would you want to pay more? Well, I, don't, I don't understand people with that, and I don't I don't understand people just blindly... You know, like, oh, yep, iPhone 5. It, you know, it's the new iPhone, so that means it has to be amazing, even though there's, like, hardly any improvements. Nope, nope, means it's, means it's awesome. And, nope, new Mario means it's fucking amazing. Oh, yeah, hardly any improvements. Or, you know, whatever, it's fucking Mario, right? No, god damn it, don't. <laughs> Why do you need to do that? Okay, um, I guess in rant, uh, Nintendo runs on nostalgia. If you take the fucking nostalgia away, they're dead.